All right, folks, my first guest was an original Not Ready for Primetime player on Saturday Night Live, and he's appeared in numerous films, including the Ghostbuster movies and Driving Miss Daisy. His brand new CD, Have Love, Will Travel, will be out this Tuesday. You can also see him tomorrow night when he hosts Saturday Night Live with musical guest Beyonce. Please welcome Dan Aykroyd. Real good, thank you. Played our signature tune there. What a band. Isn't that an amazing band? Yeah, thank amazing. You. That's the best band in late night television. I would say it is. I agree. The, would you say that? Would you say that's the I best band say, in late night yeah, TV? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. ah. I like Mr. Schaefer. I mean, Mr. Ah, Schaefer. That's right. Paul uh, but, Schaefer's uh, an old friend of yours. But, uh, you know, I've got a good driver there sitting in for Max. Yeah, he's very good. Mr. James Warner. Yeah. An amazing cat. <laughs> really good. I've always wanted to play with this band. I really have. Well, we're going to get to that a little later. That's a I've surprise. Always, we're oh, gonna, it's a little oh, surprise oh, for later on. Okay. How dare you go out of order? Who uh, do you think you are? I just <laughs> got into the building, and I'm learning. Yeah. I'm relearning. Exactly. You, you know, know I used to have keys for every door in this building. That's right, because we're just uh, two floors away from the Saturday Night Live studio. Yep. I used so, to have uh, a ring of keys, and I used to find roof gardens and secret offices. And there's a room right at the top of the building. That was an old radio transmitter room. It was, right. had a half door. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, in jo that being John Malkovich, that half door room. Right, I, right, yeah, right. Kind of like that. So we used to go up there a lot. And so you just used to creep around this building and steal things and pretty much... <laughs> well, no, we, well, I looked through a lot of files, you know, flipped through executives' desks and, you know, that kind of thing, see what was going on, see if there was a chance of our deal being renewed, renewed yeah, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Sure, what yeah. everybody should do. We all do that. Yeah. Uh, this is, you know, I can't believe this is your first time you've, you've made many guest appearances and surprise appearances your first time hosting Saturday Night Live. That's amazing to Well, me. I didn't have anything to do in the monologue. Right. But uh, now, after 24 years, I've figured out what I'm going to do in that spot. So, you know. And that's the reason you said, I will host. Yes. Because, because finally, I now... I finally figured out what I'm going to do. Yeah. You're not going to give that away, or you're going to... Well, uh, uh, you know, I... You know, no, probably not. No, okay. I'm, you know. Well, that just made for some exciting TV right there, I think. Yeah. Um, that's right. Now, uh... You're a man of many talents. Obviously, you love music, uh, acting, sketch performing, uh, writing, producing. You also once authored a manual for prison guards. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, well, because you're a little bit of a, a law and order buff. It interests you. Well, sure, sure. Well, I worked for the Solicitor General's office, the uh, Canadian Penitentiary Service in Canada, as a clerk five. And uh, This is obviously before Saturday Night Live. This isn't a job you took, like, in 1988. Uh, no, this is, uh, <laughs> this is a college job. And, okay. Uh, and I had a boss there named Fred Reeser. Fred Reeser! And he wore a bow tie like this, and he was... He was, he was a driven man, a driven uh -huh. man. He uh, was in the, uh, the, the uh, Canadian uh, intelligence, you know, and he, mm -hmm. was, he, he used to... Just look like you're working, look like you're working. Don't do any work, but look like you're working. You'll stay here a long time, a long time. Uh -huh. Never mind, that's it. You know, how to, you know how to work and look like you're asleep and look like you're working at the same time? Mm -hmm. I said, well, how do you do that? And he showed me, and there's a way you can... Put your hand like this, on, and you can, you know, move your finger, and you can be sleeping. You know, so he taught me that. And uh, I've actually used that in interviews during at, at, at key moments. It, you can, yeah. you can I, look through old uh, late night I shows hope and not, see. I hope not. No. No, no, no. I'm right here, buddy. Go. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. So uh, my job was to compile something that you know some big shot got to put his name on, and uh, so I wrote a, a manual for deploying uh, squads during riots. Wait, so you're actually, uh, would be, you're, you're considered an expert on controlling a, a, could, a rioting... Uh... Yeah, I could take this crowd now. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. What would you do if, still, if for some reason this crowd suddenly, because the weekend's near, they went crazy and they lost their minds? So, no, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. Well, but, but what if they went, what if they started to get out of hand? What would you do to control the crowd as an expert? Well, uh, I, I'd try to get the band in there and try to soothe their, their spirits. No, actually, the best thing... Uh, uh, one of the greatest weapons you can use in any is a fire extinguisher. Seriously? Yes, I would go to find the nearest fire extinguisher, yeah. Yeah, and you'd get to, like, two of them, and the rest would beat the crap out of you. There's, like, 210 uh, well, of them. Then you start, you start swinging or kissing as I... Yeah, yeah. The ladies are here. Now, uh, you are also uh, an auctioneer in Canada. Is that right? You've, you've, you, have, you have served as an auctioneer. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, every summer we have an auto hulk auction. That's for cars that you know, basically have no wheels and no, you know... 
We start the bidding at about a buck for them, but uh, we, we Who wants buy... to buy one? I mean, who says, I gotta uh, go get me a car with no well, wheels? Well, uh, you know, up where I live in Canada, back where, you know, a lot of overalls, uh, well, there's guys who like to, to grab these things and fix them up. So we have an auction in, in the summer, and we, uh, we, sell, uh, we sell these old, uh, old hulks, you know? Right, and so uh, you actually serve as an auctioneer for these events? Uh, I do, yes. Mm -hmm. And you can auction things? I can. You got anything... Uh, Got anything here you'd like to sell the audience? Maybe, what do you uh, want? What do you want? I don't know what uh, I have right here. Well, let me I see. Have. How about, uh, how about I can't this? let go of the, these two because the I've cup. had these on my desk forever. What's that? I have I have a mirror that I keep under here at all times. For like, how about that? the cup that I just oh, drank? The cup. All right. All right, we got a cup here, Conan O'Brien show, late night show, cup right here. We'll start the bidding off at one dollar, go up by increments of a dollar, one dollar right here. Got a two, three, four dollar bill right here, and a five dollar bill. Hold me the five dollar bill right here, hold me the five. Hold me six dollar right here, seven right here, hold me eight dollar. Hold me up to ten dollar, ten dollar right here. Ten dollar, eleven, 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 eleven. Conan O'Brien cup, eleven dollar right here, eleven, twelve over here. Thirteen, fourteen, hold me the twenty dollar bid, twenty dollar bid, twenty. One, two, three, four. Yeah! Twenty dollars. Would you make sure that one of the production uh, people get that? We're going to give that to charity. Yeah, where's the twenty dollar bid on the cup? That was very nice. Did you get any money? Yeah, he's going to. Um, he's going to give twenty dollars to uh, one of your production. What do you mean uh, he's going to give us twenty dollars? <laughs> Make sure that pay. Don't let don't let those people out of here until we get that. That goes to uh, charity. That'll go to charity. That will go to the New York Police Foundation for bulletproof vests. Oh, that's nice. All right, twenty bucks. That's a good. I think yeah. we're uh, we gotta go, right? We use up. Let me get to all these uh, mentions before we get to the uh, the singing. We'll be uh, you're gonna be hosting Star Night Live with musical guest Beyonce. Yeah. Uh, Have Love Will Travel will be in stores on Tuesday. Yeah, the, uh, this was, the new uh, CD. Just this, this photo here. This was taken after a thousand mile motorcycle ride. See? Oh, let me, let me get a shot of that right there. That's this is Big after, Man, Big Music, yeah. This is, this is you two after riding a thousand miles. That's right. You can tell See? you just ate a lot of bugs. Uh, <laughs> That's right. And on June 5th, Dan will be performing at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, and June 7th at the Mall of America in Minneapolis, We are looking forward Minnesota. to that. Minnesota, and you're going right. to play us out to commercial. Yeah, we'll play a little bit of this song. If you like it, uh, the record comes out. We'll have more, more on the record May 20th, so uh, let's... Take it uh, away, uh, Dan Aykroyd. Get over there. Thank you. This is a swinging party. You know I'm among friends. Every now and then, you know the roof falls in. I've loved and lived, and I've lived and lost. When Mr. Blues walks in, he says, I'm your boss. He makes me cry. Don't you know he makes me cry? in my heart a long time ago i loved and lost a mr blues walks up and says i'm your boss he makes me cry my 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 he makes me cry my my y'all go on with your party i'll be all right in a little while play that guitar Get a sadness in my heart A long time ago I loved and lost Now Mr. Blues walks up and says I'm your boss He makes me cry
Yes, indeed. Uh, fine show tonight. Stay tuned next week. We've got some great guests coming up, including Christopher Walken, Mark Wahlberg, Tyra Banks, Charlize Theron, much, much more. So watch those shows.